I'm Chris Reed. I'm going to show you how we repair aquatherm holes or slits in the factory uh, and you can do this at home. So it's all using domestic things like domestic irons and um, greaseproof paper that you should have in, the, in your house. I'm going to use the flesh coloured aquatherm for demonstration purposes rather than our black, blue or yellow aquatherm because it shows up better with the tape at higher contrast. So if by some unfortunate chance you manage to damage your aquatherm fabric, I'm going to show you how to repair it. Um, first of all we're going to make some holes in the factory using an yeah, industrial hole maker and we'll put a slit in because sometimes you find, particularly with uh, sports like canoe polo, you find the scissor action can slice through the fabric. That's the scissor action of the boat running over a cockpit. So here's a simulation there. There's a slit and a hole. We always do the repair using our repair tapes which is a hot melt adhesive tape with the glue side which is shiny and the knitted side or the text textile side which doesn't have the adhesive on. Um, we're going to do the repair on the reverse side of the fabric which is the knitted side that's because the glue on the tape can sink into the textile. So. First of all, get a spongy mat, we're using a piece of neoprene here, you could use a tea towel. Lay the repair out in front of you, and we're going to cut a piece of repair tape just a little bit longer than the slit itself. And I'm also going to round the ends off, round the corners off, just so that they stay nice and flat when the repair is done. We use a domestic iron and the heat is set just about at the um, steam setting. So it's not too hot, not too cold. Um, it'll still burn your skin if you touch your mind. So repair, repair tape on top of the textile, greaseproof paper on top of that. And then for about 15 seconds we're going to just gently apply a bit of pressure with a domestic iron and we should start to see the glue squishing out from the side a little bit of the tape. As the glue melts and starts to move out the side you know that the adhesion is starting to happen. Yeah, so we've got the glue coming out. Don't try and stretch it straight away. I usually just give a bit of pressure. Not so much that it burns but just a little bit of pressure until it cools down and you can see there we've got a fairly good repair over the slit. Maybe a little bit more work to do on the other side but I'll show you that later. Exactly the same thing applies for the dots here. We've got a small hole but this time we've cut out just a small dot place over the top, grease proof paper and then we use the tip of the iron just to gently melt the adhesive and create a repair. Maybe try five seconds or so. Take the paper off just to see if it's if the glue's squishing out the side. Maybe another five seconds and then the repair's done. Just cooling the glue down and keeping the pressure on. Two little repairs. Okay, so here we go. This is a slightly more adventurous repair, um, and by that it needs a little bit more technical ability and a bit more preparation. What we're going to do is repair the outside, this is the polyurethane side, just to try and make the uh, seal bomb proof. In order to get this side um, to adhere with the hot melt tape, we have to make sure we really prepare and clean the surface. We use at the factory here, industrial isopropyl alcohol, it's like a rubbing alcohol but you have to make sure that any kind of oils or contaminants are taken off the fabric so it's all in the preparation. We're really cleaning thoroughly, giving it a nice rub just to make sure the surface is fully cleaned. Sometimes you can just use water, but you have to really, this is fresh tap water, Really let the stuff dry and then you can just um, 
use the grease proof paper and the iron set at the domestic temperature just to pre-warm the fabric. This kind of um, cleans the whole surface up a little bit as well. Maybe do this a couple of times and it cleans the surface up. Now that's dry and clean. Exactly the same um, thing applies now. We're going to put the rounded off corner of the hot melt tape over the slit on the outside and this time be a little bit more careful. I'm using the tip of the iron rather than the whole surface and I'm just gently rubbing over the surface of the hot melt tape just to try and prevent scorching the fabric. Um, this being a thermosetting plastic, this material, if you put too much heat on you will scorch the fabric, it will turn shiny. It probably won't affect the performance of the fabric but just in terms of looks it might look a little bit more um, well, a different surface appearance. So five seconds or so of heat applied. You can just see the glue squishing out from around the outside of the tape here. A bit more pressure whilst the glue's cooling down and fixing itself to the fabric. And there you've got a repair inside and out.